this season, you have two people in the finale, you have Juliana Pena and also Chris Holdsworth. Uh, what was it like for you getting them prepared for the experience and getting them out here tonight? Are you, have you spoken with them at all? Yeah, I have. You know, both of them look really great and I think they all they did the things that they need to do to be prepared, you know, so um, I know that they're both extremely focused. I know they're both very goal-oriented people, so I'm, I'm Team Tate 100% tonight. I have full faith, no doubt in my mind that they're going to go out there and they're going to win these fights and they're going to do very, very well in the future as well. Obviously, everybody's uh, looking forward to you and Rhonda fighting at UFC 168. Right. How is the preparation going? Spectacular. I'm actually doing my training camp here in Las Vegas, so I feel right at home and I'm, I'm training hard. I'm working with Robert Paulus, Brian Caraway, Ricky Lindell, and Giff, and uh, I feel like I have an amazing coaching staff behind me and a lot of people that are willing to, to help me and come out here and be good training partners for me and get ready for this fight. Uh, now that the time has passed and the show is over, obviously there was a lot of tension. The rivalry is real. We can see that between you and Rhonda. Uh, what were your overall thoughts on the experience of coaching opposite her? I thought it was a blessing in disguise. I think that um, she's a little bit more transparent to me now than she was before, so I can kind of see through the tough girl act a little bit. I think that Rhonda has her fair share of insecurities as well. You know, um, she puts on the persona that she's the biggest and baddest, and right now, you know, rightfully so, she is the biggest and baddest, but uh, I'm coming hard, and I'm coming for her December 28th, and I want to take what I feel is mine, and that's the belt. So I'm, I want to take that home with me, and I'm working very, very hard, and I feel really confident after spending six weeks around her and just seeing the difference and how she's she's kind of changed and I feel like you know I might be in her head a little bit I don't know but we'll see it's kind of a uncharted territory so whatever happened to the socks gift <laughs> <laughs> yeah she didn't want them I don't know why I thought it was very fitting personally you know I thought it was it was a it was a good parting gift but uh, no she didn't want them so I, I just kept them tucked away <laughs> Anisha, speaking of uh, in her head do you think uh, her taking all this time off to do all these things these movies mm -hmm. in Hollywood uh, you think that's going to have an effect on her come December 28th? Well, I can't see it helping her, you know, to win this fight, so uh, I, I won't go as far as to say it's a hindrance, because I don't know what she's been doing for her training, but all I know is that I'm focused on myself, I'm focused on what I know I can do, and, and I know that I've been doing everything that I need to do to win this fight, so I feel very confident, I feel like I'm positively charged, and I'm ready to go. So what's going to be different between this fight versus the last? Oh, last fight I was just way too emotional. I've grown a lot, not just as a fighter, but as a person outside the cage. And I think that I was just so emotional and that I let my, my negative, uh, you know, my, my animosity towards her and all the things that she said in the lead up to that fight get under my skin and it made me fight as a, not the kind of fighter I would typically describe myself, more of like an angry, like I want to hurt this girl rather than being like, you know, I'm a professional mixed martial artist and I want the title. And, then, and now that's just back online, you know. I just had a switch in mentality and, uh, you know, I no longer let my dislike for Ronda be my my drive to want to win fights. I mean, she's talk, you talked about her changing. Um, there was once a time when you guys were pretty cordial. You know what I mean? You, you'd be at events, you'd be photoed together, you guys shared smiles together. Was it the first fight that kind of brought on the animosity? What can you trace back to where you just saw a shift in Ronda as a person, kind of her towards you? No, honestly, no, it was the very, very, very beginning. Before we ever even fought each other, she just kind of came out of out of the blue and was just started talking trash about me and saying how she was going to slap the title out of my hands. And it was just very disrespectful from the get-go, and I'd never met her at this point. So I kind of didn't we didn't like her from the beginning. Um, I saw her fight a few times and before I had ever heard an interview with her, and I, I thought she was a great fighter. And I was like, yeah, this chick looks legit and tough, had no, nothing like bad to say about her. And then I heard some interviews, and she started talking smack immediately about me, and I was like, who is this chick? Like, how dare she? Like, what a rude person! And then, uh, you know, that's why I didn't, I didn't like that. So, I mean, that's really where it started. And as far as being cordial, um, that not too much. I know there is one picture out there of uh, right, you Cody with, McKenzie, with Cody, right? Yeah. And that's just because I love Cody McKenzie to death, and I think she likes Cody as well. So he was able to like, with like strangle us in together, like for this picture, and like hold us in there. But um, you know, that was, that's about so, the extent so if of we that. Need, if we need beef squash, we're gonna call Cody on this. Yeah. Right, we're gonna yeah, intermediate yeah, yeah. a little bit. Yeah. All right. All right. Do, you, do you think uh, perhaps she puts on some of that? That's her persona. Like maybe they figured uh, she wants to come off like that. Sells no, tickets. like I, I believe her a hundred percent when she <laughs> says that this is the real Ronda Rousey. You know, and I'll, I won't. You know, I won't say a bad word, but she is real. That is the real Ronda Rousey, and I feel very sorry for any of her future boyfriends. <laughs> oh. <laughs>
<laughs> it's real. It's real as it gets. So I mean, that's that's her to it. You know, that's the truth, and that's that's exactly why I have never gotten along with her. So I hope that other people, the fans, can kind of finally understand why I've been in the position that I've been in. It's because it's just the way she's always treated me. So, um, you know, and I think that she treats a lot of people that she views beneath her. You know, if you if you're not on her level or above her, then she just she just misses you. She doesn't, you know, she's like, go get my water, like that kind of person. And I'm just like, dude, that's not cool. It's, it's not cool at all. And she's always been that way towards me, so I'm just, I don't like her personally. What I think she's a fantastic fighter. By all means, brings an incredibly unique skill set to MMA, um, something that's clearly been difficult for all of the women who have fought her to, to face. Um, phenomenal judo, obviously the best in the game, best arm bar, I think, in the UFC. But, you know, where's, where's her holes? Like, I see holes in her game, and I definitely see ways to beat her. So I'm putting together a really good game plan, and I feel just amazing in this, this training camp. Best I've ever, ever felt. Doesn't it feel like on some level that this is kind of needed? I know I, I, hate, to, I hate to, like, put, like, negative, like, put it in that context, but women's MMA is still fairly new, and this is our first real rivalry, and it, and it, and it seems like real venom that you guys have between each other. I think, you know, uh, it's good. Yeah. You know, I, I appreciate it. I appreciate the rivalry. I don't think I would be as far if we didn't have it. And I think that the good thing about it, again, looking at the glass half full instead of half empty, you know, where I've kind of changed my mindset is um, the rivalry always pulls the best out of me, you know, and I think it pulls the best out of her. So, you know, we complement each other in a weird way. And I think when we get locked in the cage together, it makes for it makes us both better fighters. And it doesn't hurt that you're co-main eventing one of yeah, the biggest paper Absolutely, you know, I mean, it has a following and the fans seem to enjoy it. So at our expense, you know, <laughs> um, it's I think it's a good thing for the sport. So. We got time for one more question. And that we got to go for another obligation, so one question. Thank I guess, th thank you again, Misha. So uh, I know you have to hand those tickets out, so I guess I I'll do. cut it short. So again, thank you. Good luck in your uh, training camp. And please, uh, shout out to, wh who's your team again? Helping you out, and what gym are you training? Tra oh, uh, I'm training mostly at Extreme Couture, and a little bit at Syndicate. Um, and I'm working with uh, Robert Fallis, Brian Carraway, Ricky Lundell, and Giff. Um, so all just absolutely phenomenal coaches, the best coaches that I've ever had put together, um, not only mentally but physically. You know, they encourage me every single day and I know that they believe in me and they're just as dedicated as I am. So I just, I can't thank them enough. And uh, I'd also like to give a, a special shout out to two uh, females that have really helped me and make a big difference in this training camp. One of which is Cindy Dandois. She's from Belgium and she's been doing judo since she was five. And uh, she wrestled from eight to 15 as well. So um, she's also a fighter and uh, she's came over here to, to pull on my head a little bit and try to throw me around. And uh, it's been really great for me. And then also for Leslie Smith, she's fighting December 7th on Invicta. She's fighting for the 125 pound world championship. So she came out for about a week and a half and gave me some great sparring rounds and some awesome looks. And uh, I just like to give a big thank you to everybody who, who believes in me and, and is helping make this, this dream of mine possible. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, Thank you. Thank you.